Hello, I'm Chloe Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Monday the 1st of January 2023. Happy New Year everybody, I hope this year is an amazing year for you. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube, it's called Psychic Cafe, in that I give mini reads for donations, so would love to see you in there. If you've got a burning question for your higher self or want some guidance about a particular area in your life or a particular relationship in your life, come along. You'll find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. If you're interested in a private reading with me, they're available from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there too. I get them out within 48 hours of you ordering them. So if you find that it says it's sold out when you try and book in, just check back a day or so later. I usually make some available each day. So what's in the energies today? Let's see. We've got acceptance. There's a need to accept something today. Perhaps you don't like it very much, but perhaps the truth has come out. You've had an aha. You need to accept it. What else? Relaxation. Relax. Were you partying last night? Perhaps need a day of relaxation to recover from all of those festivities. What else? Or are you working today? Let me know in the comments below. Stillness. Yeah, I think it's going to be a day, a lazy day for everyone today and just accept it. Perhaps that's what we're accepting today is we just, we need a day off. We need some relaxation. I guess it's time for me to put these Christmas, this Christmas deck away very shortly. Let's use it for today's, perhaps tomorrow's too. What's in the energies today? Okay. We're starting out with a judgment card. This might be about not judging yourself is what I just heard. Don't, don't judge yourself. Accept where you're at today. Sometimes we can judge ourselves when we need a rest and that's not a very good thing to do. Don't judge yourself. Just take it. We have needs. We're human beings. We have needs. We're allowed to have needs. We also have the Ace of Potions here, falling in love. Nine of Candles after healing. After healing yourself. Oh, have you met someone new? Could be falling in love after healing yourself. Or ready to fall in love. That could say ready to fall in love after healing yourself. After having an aha about yourself and making some changes. We have the Queen of Presents and the Three of Candles. And so this might be the energy of waiting um, until you can uh, catch up, perhaps on the bills, or catch up and get your stability back, Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah, it's waiting to get some kind of stability back, your, and finances is what it feels like to me. And so perhaps you did a little bit of overspending, and you need to cut it back, pull it back just a little bit. Um, for a while until you get back on track and then the emperor you're taking charge of something today okay hmm new year's resolutions perhaps let's see judgment so this is about not judging yourself is what i heard not judging yourself about decisions you made king of pentacles especially around your money so don't judge yourself about that <laughs> Because you can end up in a downward spiral with your abundance if you spend and then judge yourself about it. Because then you're going to feel bad. And if you feel bad about your money, you can't make some good decisions from that to get more money. Um, you will make bad decisions. It will get worse. When we are feeling secure and happy, even despite our financial state, we can feel secure and happy um, about it, knowing that it will get better. Um, then it will it it can improve. What's behind that? I changed from will to can then because of this. Self love is behind it. But, you know, there's always something that you've got to do. It's not just going to magically. You don't change your mood and then suddenly um, someone brings an envelope full of cash to your door. That's not what happens. Is once we're happier and once we're calmer and once we feel better about ourselves, we start making better decisions. So today could be like drawing a line in the sand, sky, say, telling yourself, okay, I spent too much and I'm going to reel that back in rather than judging yourself. Love yourself. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Like even the best people with finances make mistakes. It's all right. Not the easiest thing to handle money. And we make mistakes and we do good things too. 
Sometimes we save and sometimes we spend. It's okay. Ace of Potions and the Nine of Candles. You've healed yourself enough. You could be ready to fall in love. Or you could be falling in love after healing yourself. You're feeling stronger now. Something's put you in a stronger position now. You're feeling stronger, more in charge, that kind of thing. You've healed yourself. You know, and healing, it's all about feeling empowered, you know, so we can take charge of our life. Just like I was saying with the money. You know, if, you, if you're doing the self-loving thing rather than self-hate of judging yourself for it, just going, it's okay. Like you would a little kid. It's okay. Mommy, I broke this. It's okay. And, you, and you know, you just say the same thing to yourself. Mommy, I spent my money. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You're way more valuable than, than the money. And also with this Ace of Potions, it is the card of falling in love. And some of you might feel ready now. You may feel more in control of yourself, more self-loving and ready to fall in love. Psychic development and perception. So you've changed your perception about something. You've changed your perception about something and feeling more in tune with your intuition to make good decisions. Feeling stronger, feeling more in charge. So you might be choosing better people now to have relationships with or try and have relationships with. So ready to fall in love. Queen of Presence and the Three of Candles. There's an element of wait, having to wait here. So, yeah, you can make a decision to get back, get, get your money straight again, but it's not going to happen instantly. Like, like I said, no one's going to show up on your doorstep with a, uh, an envelope for money. No matter what the Law of Attraction teachers tell you, that just doesn't happen. So, but what does happen is you feel better and then you start making better decisions. Nine of Pentacles to make your wishes come true. This is the single, the independent card. So, get you get wins for yourself so you're gonna to have to wait for that three of candles says you're gonna to have to wait for that but it's decision time at the moment to get yourself to that point so yeah you could be deciding that you want a more abundant 2023 and why not you could be deciding that you want to have to fall in love this year and you're feeling in a stronger position to do that now i would say go for it it is actually great energies for new year's resolutions and i finally all the years that i've been doing these these reads each each time the energies haven't been good for New Year's resolutions on New Year's Day, but this time they are. Abundance is behind that. Yes. Tuning into abundance. So set your intentions now to have an abundant New Year. Not just asking the universe for it. You're asking the universe to help you with it, for sure, to co-create it. But you're telling yourself, I'm going to have an abundant year. I'm going to fall in love with this year. What do you want to do this year? Let me know in the comments like, and, and, and commit to it and say, I'm going to do that this year. Uni universe, help me with it. Take charge of it, the emperor. Knight of Cups, especially in the, um, the love department, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords, being truthful about that. The Knight of Cups brings the love offers. So emperor could mean the one that makes decisions. Table squeaking. The one that makes decisions, so taking charge of it, the Knight of Cups, you might decide that you're going to be the chooser now. You're going to be the one that approaches people in love rather than them waiting to be chosen. And you're going to reveal your truth, the Ace of Swords. So you choosing instead of being chosen by someone. You might want to set that intention this time. I will choose. I'll choose much better for myself. Behind that is a new day. So, yeah, very good New Year's energies, these. Stopping judging yourself, doing the self-loving thing, deciding what it is that you want in love, what it is that you want in your finances, and then deciding to take charge of it with your own truth so that you can create that love and that abundance that you want. Sounds great to me. And you can do it. You can do it. What about our love lives? What's going on in our love lives? It's important to right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now's the time to give to yourself so give to yourself first decide what it is that you want we've got sexual union here as well honor the place in one another where you're one eternal soul for there you'll find true bliss so true bliss can be found in some healthy relationships if you go out there searching for the those those that can have relationships um yeah if you've been following my live show you'll have heard that I don't believe in twin flames anymore. I didn't, in fact. When I first heard about them, I thought that they were they were just describing dysfunctional relationships. And then I got into a relationship and it did seem to follow. And my guide started talking about twin flames. And, in fact, I wasn't in the relationship. <laughs> that makes sense. I wasn't actually in it. It wasn't actually happening properly. 
But it did seem to match all of the readings with twin flames. And as I said, my guide started talking about it. And now I know it's not, it's not true. The twin flame dynamic is actually um, an anxious attachment style person trying to link up with an avoidant style type person and the dynamics between that. That's all it is. And it's, it's it cannot be a good relationship. Avoidant attachment styles can't have healthy relationships. And so as soon as you learn about that, and I'll leave a link in the description box below for that book that taught me all of that. Um, I just applied it to what I know and what the guys have been telling me about twin flames and my experience with all of that. We're doing the readings about it is, yeah, it's not a healthy connection. In fact, to what I've believed before I started believing in twin flames. And so that could apply to this. Some of you might be alongside me there within this learning, having read that book or ready to read that book and then taking your power in that and taking a step back, you know, and realizing, yeah, you do deserve to have a healthy connection, a healthy sexual, sexual union and all of that. Just make time for self-love so you could be pulling it back from someone that you were trying to have a relationship with that now you realize you can't. You cannot do that. They're, they're not the attachment style that can. They're not the kind of person that can have a healthy relationship. And you can go out there and find one that you can. There are signs of people that can have healthy relationships. If you read that book, it's called Attachment. Um, as I said, I've got the link in the description box below. Read that, and it will make so much sense to you, <laughs> so much sense. And um, it also tells you how to have a healthy relationship, how to spot the ones that can have a healthy relationship. So, well worth it. I think it's essential reading for everybody. Soul connection and codependency, right? So codependency is that us wanting to get into a relationship to help the other person. And that can be a driving force behind us wanting to get into a relationship with someone that is avoidant, someone that can't relate properly in a relationship, someone that's avoiding that, keeps your arms like, won't reply to you, you know, what they, they refuse to be there for you emotionally, to soothe you in any kind of way and all of that. If you move away from them, they'll try and pull you back. That's that chaser kind of thing, you know. They'll try and pull you back because every human needs to be in relationship, right? We've got that. It's part of the human experience. It's part of our nervous system. Um, and so they want that, but they can't have it. <laughs> it scares them so much. And codependency is you. It's your your wanting to be in that relationship and fix it you're wanting to get them to do that somehow to change who they are codependency is trying to be there for someone else and change who they are and it just won't work for you even if you feel like it's a soul connection that you've got with this person it's not it cannot be a healthy relationship and you deserve to be loved and it's time to look after yourself and i'm getting the message that some of you all of you are going to thrive once you do this, once you get yourself into a healthy relationship. You're going to thrive. You're going to be abundant because once you're secure in a secure relationship, you will. You will thrive. Everything gets so much easier once your nervous system has settled down because you're in a good relationship and we deserve to be in good relationships. So this feeling like you were never enough, you were never enough, like you couldn't figure it out, you're always questioning yourself, you know, of... Why are they pulling away from me? What did I do? What did I do wrong? What am I not doing right? How can I change myself? How can I change myself so that I get something different out of them? And you can't, you see? You can't do that. It's not about you. It's about them. And just spotting those ones that are avoidant before we get into relationships with them, we just let them go and then find someone that's an either healthy attachment or an anxious attachment and have a good relationship with them instead, then you won't feel that again. It's not something to heal in yourself, but you can heal from that whole saga of having tried to be in that codependent loop so let's declare 2023 to be the year that we get into healthy relationships 2022 is all about relationships and we all thought didn't we that it was going to be about relationships and us finally getting into those relationships and it didn't happen and it didn't happen because it can never happen in those relationships. I did wonder, I did wonder because, you know, you know on YouTube when like twin flame readings come up from like years ago, like one will just suddenly pop up and you notice that the date is like three years ago or something. They're all saying exactly the same things. And I'm like, if it's still the same situation, we're still waiting three years on. Everyone's still waiting around for it. It's never happening, is it? It's never happening. It hasn't happened and it's never going to happen because it will never happen because it can't happen in those dynamics. It can't. 
And then just something I've noticed. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking about you today. You could be thinking about distant friends as well. People in the past, all of that kind of thing. Very, It's a very nostalgic day, you know, New Year's Day, don't you find? Come on, preserve, persevere, preserve, persevere and you will overcome problems. You will get through this. Yes, any problem that you've got, I would say it is a great day for making New Year's resolutions, but not in the kind of a wish kind of thing. More of a, I'm going to do this this year. I'm taking control of it. A fire. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. So your fire could be coming out today and you're like, okay, this is where it changes. This is where my life changes. We have a feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. I can't pick them up. And also a pale. Time to get out of a situation. Yeah, some of you need to leave that person that you've been thinking is a twin flame behind. And I know a lot of you that are following me have got someone like that and it's just never going to work. Read that book. It's called Attachment in the description box below. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. This is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading now. If you want me to pull one of these crystals out for a specific question that you've got, then come along to Psychic Cafe sometime. We'd love to see you in there and do that for you for donations for those mini reads. I can use them in private readings as well. Book yourself in. There's a link in the description box below and also on up there too. After you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page. Put your questions in there for your reading. Now, you don't need to have questions for your reading. I will just channel as I usually do. But if you want to be specific about it, then go for it. Some of those dragon sunlanders out there. Eight of Wands. How best to deal with these energies today? Eight of Wands is about good communication, um, it's about direction, having direction and purpose. And so give yourself a purpose this year. What would you like to be? What would you like to have? What would you like to do by the end of the year? Write it down, affirm it to yourself, put it in the comments too, and let's do it this year. Let's manifest that. So I think if you yes or no answer question now, pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes. There you go. It's a yes. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like on this video before you click off. Click on that subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. I do one of these energy updates every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show and I make three love pick a card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now. If you want to watch that next, you're very welcome to. I'll well, have the best day ever. I have the best 2023 ever. Best year ever, I should say. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.